Hi, this is Nora and welcome to an episode of Nora's Realty. Today we have rather a unique property to show you. Cut, cut, Larry, are you sure that the only time to see this property was Halloween evening? Yeah, 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 that, that's the only time we could show it. Why? I mean, this is, it's got to be a wind up. I'm sorry, this is just strange. Well, well, what time do you prefer? I mean, well, to on. be honest, I don't really want to be doing a tour of a mausoleum at night well, on Halloween. I mean, I'm not superstitious or anything, but it's just weird. Ah, uh, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, that's what's worrying me. Okay, let's start the tour. So, on the road between Somersville and the Hornwright Summer Villa, you will find the Hornwright Mausoleum. And yes, in true wasteland style, someone has turned this into a home. You have this completely enclosed yard with some attractive Victorian masonry. Uh, someone has obviously decorated for the season. Although if you are a keen gardener, I would suggest you don't dig too deep as you may not like what you find. Maybe a new pair of boots? That's probably not what they'll find in this yard, Larry. There are two external decks or patios so you can sit and read a book or have a meal. How can someone be selling this? I heard a rumour that Penny Hornwright was still alive as a ghoul. Well, well, she's alive. She doesn't need it. Yeah, but they're her ancestors. They're her ancestors. It might. Well, if she doesn't, if she doesn't complain or doesn't know about it, I suppose. I don't know whether ghouls can inherit. Well, I don't know if anyone can inherit now. I suppose there aren't any property laws anymore. Finders keepers. I guess. Not too great for your line of work, though. <laughs> well, you never know. We we can sell a house twice this way. <laughs> what I call house flipping. Yeah. If we enter in, you will see that the current occupier has made good use of some of the things that he's found here. Bones? Do you, th well, there's, he's made, he's made seats out of coffins. Do you think he, do you think he took the bodies out first? Hmm, let's hope so. I suppose that could be what the bones in the garden were. Well, there is quite a small property. There is enough space here to make a cosy home. The owner is leaving most of the furnishings, they're just taking a few personal pieces of property. Unfortunately, there is no running water at this property. However, there is a spring down below in the lake bed. So if you want, you could pump water up or you can also add a water purifier. So if you're interested in this property, the vendor is looking for offers in the region of 20,000 caps. 20,000? That sounds like grave robbery. Very funny, Larry. So hit me up on my pit boy or pop into the office in Charleston. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. What the? Larry David Hamilton, you are a dead man. Ha, ha, ha.
So I hope you enjoyed the show. If you're not familiar with Nora and Larry, I have a small role play series called, called Nora's Realty, which is basically a comedy. Um, Nora, prior to being a realtor, was also a chef and a uh, pharmacy technician. So I have Nora doing comedy recipes and making drugs. So please check those out if you're interested. So I suppose this is my spooky tiny house. What you didn't see in the intro was there is a workshop behind because I like to use my camps <laughs> so I need to make them work in camps. So I will quickly show you how to build it. It's not complicated, the only thing that might be a bit tricky is the roofs but I will show you. So we are going to start with foundations I always use a lined pattern so I can make sure that my foundations are all going in the same direction. I'm going to line it up with this line on the road and sort of in the middle of where this frozen scorched is. I'm going to go place another three so that the start of the mausoleum is four. It's four from the road. The floor plan of the mausoleum is one and then three, but we need one each side for the patios and we need three at the back for the workshop. If you have any problems with weeds, put confetti down or raise your foundations. We're now going to double wall the entire building like this, bearing in mind that the back of the building is here if you've put these down for your workshop. might be worth bearing in mind that before you put double walls on the end pieces there you might want to add the railings because they won't fit over a double wall. You can take the double wall off and redo it, it's up to you. This is how I got the railings perfectly aligned. Lower a foundation, add a railing keep going out to here you will notice that this railing is floating take this one off select it it will drop down you don't have to move it it will automatically drop down and then just place press A or the equivalent to place it we can take these back round Now, I normally place railings and um, carry on all the way around and then take one out to put a gate on. It didn't work with these, so I would suggest you put the gate on now and then carry on with the railings. And they should all be perfectly lined up. You can add those end walls now. Because they will go on. Stupid game. <laughs> I don't know why it won't work the other way. If you put a double wall on here, yeah, the railing will not go on. Right. Go round and convert all of the walls to plain walls for the 
back middle I did actually use the enclave to get a bit of natural light in there. It's completely optional. Add wallpaper. Now I used this stone cinder block it's called. If you don't have anything that you think suitable or you don't want to double wall I think probably the best set to use is probably the Mistress of Mysteries although it's not white it does look like stone. Up to you. Right, roofs. I haven't done the inside, I'm sure you can figure that out on your own. We want these edges on three corners. There is one with one and one with two. So place that one that way. Place these so that the trim is at the back. I believe this set came from the last, that is so annoying and noisy, <laughs> I believe this set came from the last or the season before, I can't remember. The way to layer the roofs is take your roof, replace it with one in the upright position or in an upright position, whichever is easier for you, flame trap it. Or get a friend in PvP to destroy it for you. Or just stop being lazy and do the quest. I've done it four times. You've got no excuse. <laughs> Place another one like this. Raise it up. Flame and trap it. Last one on here, repair these. Before we put these down, I will tell you that when you get to here, you will have a problem with the one facing out here because this one is going to interfere with it. So turn it into one without the lip for now and we'll leave these up so that we can access it. You'll want to do the same here, so place these ones down last. So again, raise this up. Flame trap it. One at the front. You can place these ones in the down position. Like so, we'll leave that like that so we can do this one. So you should now have all of your roofs on and hopefully not be crying. <laughs> Place some steps at the front of your building. Go around, wallpaper the inside. I did put um, a wall in here. If you want to have a separate bedroom, but you don't have to, so just put a double wall in. You could put another one there if you wanted. So there you have it, your spooky tiny house or your mausoleum. Have fun decorating for the season. 
I hope you like the build. I hope you have fun at Halloween. Stay safe. And for those that celebrate it, blessed Sawain. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.